What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, checking out the Apple Watch Edition for 2016, which is considerably cheaper than it was last year when it was a gold watch, which retailed for up to $20,000. This time it's ceramic, so it's much cheaper at $12.49 or $12.99 for the two 38 and 42 millimeter sizes. Now this is a Series 2 watch, so it works the same as other Series 2 watches. It has the new brighter display, the new S2 processor, which is faster. We also have improved waterproofing, which is designed for swimming and can be submerged up to 50 meters. This also adds a GPS antenna, so you can take your Apple Watch running without the aid of your smartphone to keep track of your location. So unboxing the Apple Watch Edition really isn't as special as it was with the gold Apple Watch. It's basically like unboxing a stainless steel Apple Watch, but we do get some additional accessories. First up, we're going to remove the plastic and lift up the lid, and inside we'll see the hard white plastic shell, which houses the Apple Watch. We're going to save this for last and get to the accessories, which are a bit different here. So we get a packet which contains our paperwork. So we have a quick start guide which outlines how to use the Apple Watch and adjust the sport band and of course on the other side we'll find information about watch OS 3 and how to set it up for the first time. Next up we have the smaller watch band so the 42 millimeter comes pre-installed with the large watch band so if you need to resize it for your wrist that is included with the box and it does come standard with the cloud sport band. Now this is the only watch band that the Apple Watch Edition comes with but of course you can swap it out for whatever watch band you want from Apple's own library. Also included is a booklet that explains how this watch is made Essentially, it's made entirely out of zirconia and sapphire crystal, so no plastic here. So this is a very high-end watch, which comes with a high-end price tag. The booklet goes on to explain that Apple designed a specific ceramic powder, which is made of zirconia, yttrium, oxide, and alumina. And once they mold the ceramic, they center it to 1,500 degrees Celsius for 35 hours, which isotropically reduces its size by 20%. And to finish it off, they use diamond cutters to machine the casing to its final form. Also included with every Apple Watch edition is the watch magnetic charging dock. This is actually sold as a separate accessory for $79. Now this actually launched last year and I did a separate video on that and I'll leave that linked in the description below if you want to check that out. But this dock allows you to prop up the watch on its side which then acts as a night clock or you can just lay it flat and the watch can lay across it. The dock itself connects via a lightning connector which is also included in the box and it's padded on the bottom and the top so your watch won't scratch when it's laying on the surface. It's a very nicely made accessory overall and it definitely looks great with this white watch. And lastly, at the bottom of the box, we'll find two cables bundled together. We'll find a extra long lightning cable, which comes with a magnetic charging dock as well. And we'll also find a standard charging puck for the watch. This is actually the stainless steel model, the same one that comes with the stainless steel watch. So the watch again comes in the case very similar to the stainless steel watch. All we have to do is remove this plastic surrounding it, and then we can lift up the lid. And inside, emboss on the inside cover is Apple Watch Edition. Now taking a close look at the watch, it looks exactly like a stainless steel Apple watch, except for the different materials. And again, this is all ceramic, which is four times stronger than stainless steel, so it should be more scratch resistant, especially compared to the raw stainless. Now, every single component here is ceramic, right down to the side buttons, the digital crown, and the release buttons for the watch bands. The back panel is also ceramic, and the heart rate monitor is covered in sapphire crystal. And in terms of the cover glass, once again, this is also sapphire crystal, which is very scratch resistant. It also has this nice reflection, which looks a little more jewel-like than just glass. Now the text on the back of this watch does reflect some of the new features such as the GPS antenna, waterproofing up to 50 meters, and of course this is a Series 2 watch. Now if you're looking for the serial number or the model number, those are actually hidden within the watch band slot, so if you remove them, you'll actually see them inside. Now if ceramic isn't evidence enough that this is a Series 2 watch, along the side you'll see these two portholes, one is a microphone and one is an air vent. We also have a new speaker design, which is designed to eject water when it's wet. Now this is kind of a neat feature, so if you enable one of the swimming modes available on the Series 2 watches, this will actually lock the screen, because the screen will not operate when it's underwater. And in order to exit one of these modes, you use the digital the crowns or the buttons along the side and this will actually eject the water from the speaker by emitting a specific tone. Now like all series who watches this gets a much brighter OLED display and actually can get as bright as 1000 nits. That's twice the performance of the previous generation. Now this is a feature that really only works with auto brightness. So if you're outdoors you'll definitely notice the brighter display but if you're indoors you won't necessarily notice the difference. But for the most part the display is much more visible outdoors or in bright light conditions. The other big news is the S2 processor which boosts performance by by 50%. Although it doesn't make the watch lightning fast, it definitely improves performance for day-to-day -day operations. This works especially well with all the system apps, and for things like Siri, this works much better than it did with the original Apple Watch. But of course, the Apple Watch Edition doesn't really buy you better performance than the cheaper aluminum Series 2 watch. 
Now personally, I really like this white and black look and that glossy finish between the ceramic and the sapphire crystal looks very premium. Although at first glance, it might look like plastic to most people. Although the ceramic watch looks like it's a solid white, it actually has sort of a pearlescent finish. It's kind of subtle. You really only notice this with a lot of light or sunlight on it, but it is a nice look. Now for me, I think the biggest issue is finding a band that I like for this watch. So I'm still experimenting here. I kind of like the space black Milanese loop with the uh, ceramic wash. I kind of like that white and black theme. To me, it looks a little more premium. Now, ultimately for me, I still think I prefer the space black Apple watch with the Milanese loop. The Milanese loop is a little more comfortable to me and it's also a little more upscale and a little more durable. And I love how that space black finish melts into the sapphire crystal on the cover glass. To me, that design is very unique and definitely more upscale than the ceramic Apple watch uh, while still looking a little more modern than the classic Apple watch with stainless steel. So if you want something that looks a little more classic and formal, I would definitely go with a stainless steel watch, but the ceramic watch definitely has a more modern flair to it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this look at the Apple Watch Edition. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know, and I'll see you again in the next video.